How about that? Alan, the food yeah. dude, is uh, in the house and ready to feed us. There was a, was it a challenge last week uh, that we presented Alan? Or we were worried yeah. that he was going to do something crazy. Yeah, if I'm not, livers. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. It was, we were talking about livers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would never do it predictably. Yeah. You got to give it a little time. That gets you unaware. <laughs> so it's safe to say that today we're not going to be eating chicken livers. You are not oh. getting chicken livers. So the, it, is it warm or cold? Warm. It's warm. It's nice and warm. Today we're going to be baited. We're going to be hunting over a baited field. All right. Over a baited field. Yeah. So yep. Like a hint on what the meat might be in there. There is no meat. Oh, no meat. There is no meat. Right. Smells good. There is sure. bread, potato, and cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is called bait, hunting over a baited field in this room. So, what does uh, that mean? well, you know, you guys are, uh, well, let's face it, three of your favorite topics right there. So, of uh, earlier this week, I was playing with some uh, yeast bread, yeast, you know, yeast raised bread. So, playing with that. Okay. Made a few recipes, yeah. did that, and had a little leftover, and I went, you know, this would make a great cheese toast. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, you go through the grocery store and you go, aha, that's on sale. I need to make some roasted red pepper mashed potatoes. Hmm. And one thing people have forgotten about is that, you know, mashed potatoes and bread do get along with each other really well. Mm -hmm. So I just made you some deluxe cheesy bread this morning, which I find to be perfect. And I'm going to call it fire pit food. So you're hanging in the backyard, you got a few people over, you got the little fire pit going. This is one of those little, you can eat it with a fork, you can eat it with your fingers. Easy, quick, simple snacks. It's a yeast roll of mashed potatoes on top and cheese. Yep. And I'm not saying that in a bad That's way. It. It's, it's like Thanksgiving night, like when you've gone through the Thanksgiving yes. line about three times, you're like, well... I could probably have another couple rolls of mashed potatoes yeah, I'm, I'm just to finish it, it off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. you put some dressing and turkey on top of this. Oh. You can make up like Thanksgiving on a roll or something like that. I don't yeah, know. This, oh yeah. yeah. And this Fancy has a little names. bit of yeah. And this has a little bit of weight to it, which is good. So if you you know if you're having a little bit of alcohol, it's nice to have some. Exactly. <laughs> and it was like you know this is a little tailgating or like a, like I call it fire pit food. Yeah. Because yeah. we have now hit backyard fire pit weather. Yes, we have. It's beautiful. It's dry. It's cool. It's crisp. You want to go out. You want to go sit on the patio, but you do may want to have an adult beverage. I'm and all in on the mashed potatoes and cheese, but the bread, no thanks. No, it's good old yeast <laughs> yep. roll, man. I like the yeast roll now. That's those little bit square ones yeah. you get. You know, you throw in there real quick right before. Yeah, well, that's all handmade. No, oh, that wow. made Ditch feel bad dollars. about that. I'm us. sorry. The funny thing is, <laughs> the fifty dollar yeast roll. It, it wasn't what he's. <laughs> It wasn't what Ditch said. It's the way he held it out to you and wagged it. It's like, <laughs> no, Brad, no. No, it's good, though, Alan. How long did it take you to whip that up? Uh, let's see. The bread took about an hour. Okay. The mashed potatoes, of course. It's, it's you, you know, buy it's, the rolls. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> well you can cheat and just get the biscuits or the rolls or whatever. Uh, you know, but the bread was the longest part of that. The cheese, that's eh, out of a bag. Okay. You know, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't raise the cow. Yeah. What can I tell you? <laughs> All right, a little salt and pepper on there. We're good. I saw some little red. Is that the yeah, little, little roasted pepper? red pepper? Very little, yeah, a little, very little, little red pepper though. Not well, very yeah. much at all in there. I, I didn't want it to overwhelm the tater. You want, you know, I wanted yeah. the tater flavor, not the red pepper. So now again, spice it up however you yeah. want. Oh, That's right. another winner. There you go, Alan the Food Dude, the original Alan the Food Dude. Where do they find this? All they got to do is pop over to thecookingtodayshow.com and follow along with our kitchen shenanigans there.